This is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com, and tonight I'm going to showcase what I call squirreling away or making a download of Windows 10 or, these days, Windows 11. So, first thing that you do is you go out to your favorite search engine, and depending on what you're going to download, you can either search for Windows 10 download, you can also search for Windows 11 download, and you go right to those links right there. So, first off, if you're like me, most of your machines are still on Windows 10. And we're still on the Windows 10 November 2021 update. I keep massacring the name of the, of the version because obviously I cannot get numbers in my head sometimes. And so this is the 21H2. Got that? The second half of the 2021 download. And what I usually do is when I know that the next one is coming out, remember um, what Windows 10 and 11 have done now is they no longer do the semi-annual downloads like they used to. They are now doing it once a year. So in the fall time of the year, we're going to have these feature releases. I do not recommend that you install them right away. I always recommend that you hold off. Right before we anticipate that the next version is coming out, I always like to download a copy of an installation media, so just in case I need to repair anything, reinstall anything, I have exactly what I need in an easy location. Now, yes, there's Rufus and some other tools that can do this, but again, I just like it because it's nice and easy and I know exactly where I got the media. I like to go still to the official Windows download page because I know that that's good media, it's not malicious. Yes, I know some of you may argue that Windows in general is malicious, but again, I'm just talking about the, the validity of the website, and I know that this came from Microsoft, it's official Microsoft, so this is where I like to get it from. And you just scroll down and look for this where it says Create Windows 10 Installation Media, and you just click on Download Now. And it's going to say the version of it, you're going to go click on Open File, you're going to say yes. It's going to say getting a few things ready. This takes a little bit of time. Patience, patience, patience. You get the end user license agreement, of course, which nobody reads, but we're going to just scroll through it. Remember this, usually it binds you to like King County. I wonder if I can find it real fast. Yeah, binding arbitration and class action waiver. If you've ever wondered why there's not been a class action lawsuit against Microsoft, it's this Section 7 right here. You actually agree to binding arbitration every single time you click on an end user license agreement. Most software companies are like this. They have boilerplate language in there, so just letting you know you probably have accepted that. And then come down here and just accept the bottom. And again, wait a little bit longer. Now here's the where we make the decision of what we want to do. I don't want to upgrade this PC now because quite frankly, I'm already on this version. So it's kind of ridiculous for me to make sure that that button is checked. I want to go down here to this next button where I create installation media. And I want to click next. And it always senses what machine it's coming off of. And so it's going to say, I think you want this, and we're going to leave it at that. Say next. And then you have the choice of where you want to put it. Now, if you want to use it for repair media, you probably want it on an external USB flash drive. If you just want to keep it for future reference, you can do what's called an ISO. Um, ISO is just the file format or standard. Um, 
but like I said, you can choose USB. The key thing is to have a large enough USB. These, once upon a time, it used to be a gig or two. Now you have to make sure it's at least eight gigabytes in order to. So we're going to click next. And it's going to say, I've got some, um, so it wants to select a flash drive. Now the key here is to make sure that you've um, chosen a flash drive. And what I've done ahead of time, let me pause it and I'll show you. I actually have a, about a six, it says 14 gigs, it's actually 16 gig hard flash drive that I formatted and I called it 21H2. And I, the reason why I usually format or name them and then use like a Sharpie pen to write on the side, I always like to, to note what's on the flash drive because I guarantee you if you don't write it down or put some kind of sticky note in a couple of months you'll go what version was that again so that's why I do that that's on the E drive so I'm going to select that and say next and then it just does its thing and I let it go ahead and download that will take some time so we'll just let it do its thing in its background now if you have a machine that is either number one already on Windows 11 or you think you want to update at some point in time to Windows 11 but you haven't yet either one of the two if you're thinking about going to Windows 11 or if you're already on Windows 11 you will want to go to the Windows 11 download site and again you want to do the same thing where Instead of going here to the Installation Assistant, you want to go down here to Create the Media. You can also do, they give you another way that you can download an ISO file. Either way, either Create Installation Media or Download an ISO. Either way. You can always make a bootable drive if you've got an ISO. So keep in mind, either of these two methodologies will work. And again, if you are thinking about upgrading to Windows 11 at some point in time, or have upgraded to Windows 11, you'll want to make sure that you download a copy of the this version, this November version of Windows 11, because it too will be updating probably sometime in September to the latest version, the feature release of, if I let's see if I get it right, the 22H2 version of Windows 11. Is coming out sometimes approximately in September. What's in it? Yeah. To be honest with you, on on 22H2 for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, for consumer and home users, there's not going to be too much exciting in it. Um, there's some more security features and things for the businesses. It's more to me of a business release. Um, I think it's going to bring some interesting things in for file folders, for file management, things like that. Um, interestingly enough, it, some of the the things I'm looking forward to is, on in, for example, in the file management section, they're going to come out later on. Initially, they won't have those file tabs they were talking about. So, bottom line, I'm not ready yet to tell anyone to go to 22H2. I want you to stay on 21H2, the last year's November release. But I do want you to download media, so should something occur to your machine, you can do what I call an in-place repair install. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.